Well, I suppose we'll go get our A-class license today. These loading times are accurate. I mean, it does load a little faster, but, uh, like, there's wait timers and shit, and it kind of sucks sometimes. Oh, okay, so... Oh. Okay. I did. Surprise. <laughs> cool. Oops. All right, let's go to the next one. I so I guess today we're going to the fair. Uh, there is a demolition derby or figure eight going on. I don't remember which now. I'd have to go look at the flyer. But uh, yeah, it's going to be fucking cool. My boy is going to love it. He loves playing VMNG. He loves playing um, Wreckfest with me. Um, I don't remember the name of the other one, but it's like a cardboard, cardboard prototype car game. Where you're racing, the theme of the game is you're racing like cardboard cars. Oh, I got a silver on that. Nice. Ah, uh, man, I don't remember the name of it now. Hold on, you know what? I can, uh, because we're on an emulator, I can just alt them out of that, or alt enter. Go to Steam. Oh, I don't have all my games. Okay, well, I'll just open it and go to my Steam Drive. Uh, I really don't remember the name of the game. It's really fun, though. I really enjoy playing it. I don't think I have it on this, uh, this drive. I think it's on a different one. Concept Destruction, that's the name of the game. It's a lot of fun. If you like the old, um, like on the PlayStation 1, there used to be um, Destruction Derby, I think it was, or Demolition Racer. I, I get the two mixed up. Um, one of them is like, almost like NASCAR Heat, but, you know, with Destruction. And then the other one is just straight up fun. Um, the one that's like, the destruction oriented game is more like concept destruction. It's, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. I got it for like two bucks on Steam and he loves just crashing cars with me. So he's going to have a blast at the Demolition Derby. We're on Grand Valley? Yeah, we're on Grand Valley. Oh, this is a really good car too. Like, going with RX-7s in the beginning of the game just turns it into easy mode. You know, RX-7s are fantastic cars. The old ones, the newer ones here, they're great. Normally I go for uh, an RX-7, I don't know how to pronounce the name, Affinity 3. Oh, I failed. And, uh, well, you know what? I'll go show you. Uh, I normally go for the one in the Brave Blue, uh, Mica. I like that color. 
pretty sure it's for sale still. Uh, I just like the sounds, or the music here too. Uh, no, it is not here. That's okay. Um, but I normally go for, for one of these. It has, uh, I believe it has 212 horsepower from the start. Um, but yeah, it's, it's blue. It doesn't have a wing. Or it does have a wing. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, so yeah. That's interesting stuff. Let's keep going. I'll keep getting distracted. So yeah, that's normally, my normal starter car is that. And, uh, I decided to go with a Supra because I hate myself. And they're not really easy to control compared to like the RX-7 and um, if you were to go with the Nissan Primera. I think there is just a little bit of input delay in the emulator. Maybe because I have vertical sync enabled, but either it won't sense or it'll hold it for too long. My uh, clicks on my D-pad. That was a nice clean corner. I don't know if it was a good driving line, but it was a clean corner. Yeah, it was terrible driving like <laughs> my friends. Oh, Skyline. These cars are quick. Trial Mountain? Yeah, Trial Mountain. that up. Hopefully I don't fuck the next corner up real bad. Let's try to shave some time right here. Oh, I failed it. Okay, yeah, I fucked it up real bad. <laughs> I'm going to go into the bumper cam and, and jump through this. And I love how look it, how good it looks on the other screen. So um, I do some post-processing filtering uh, on OBS. So what you see is very different from what I see. But basically, I have put filters over it to make it look like it's popping off of a CRT monitor. Or a 2 TV, you know. Because I know what this game looks like on a 2 TV. Fuck, I spent most of my youth playing this game. So. It's very, very colorful and vibrant. And it's just slightly fuzzy and out of focus compared to what I see. Oh, I failed it again? Damn. <laughs> I thought I did good. It's very dull on my other screen where it is native. So I can't play it on the on the post process screen though because of the input delay through the viewfinder on OBS. So Damn, I could not imagine what I had to do to get through fucking gold on this track if I failed bronze fucking three times in a row. Ugh, I golded all these and I even got the reward cars for fucking golding everything and that was a bitch, dude. 
I played this game so much that I unlocked the GT Hi-Fi, which is like a 60 frame per second mode. Like as a, as a proof of concept, this game runs at 29.97 frames in America. But they included in, in the simulation mode an alternate um, disc or an alternate um, menu that you don't get until you beat everything uh, called Gran Turismo Hi-Fi, which was kind of a, hey, we could have done this, but we didn't have the time. We wanted to get the game out the door, um, which is pretty sweet. And it wasn't like a, a publisher constraint or, or a studio constraint either. They just really wanted to get, you know, they had been making it for so long, they just wanted to get it out there. So, and they were like, fuck it, we'll put all the improvements in the next game. And uh, so they just slid that GT Hi-Fi in there and locked it behind the beating game. And there's, uh, I think there's only like four or five tracks, if I remember correctly. I think it's the same menu as the spot races. Oh shit. Let's try that again. I fucked that up. I know I'm on an emulator and I can use save states, but... But I don't want to. I was trying to uh, use save states. I was off camera. I was... Um, trying to gold class B and get the reward car and um, was safe scumming like a motherfucker. That was terrible. I don't think I got anything. Oh, I did pass. Nice. Oh, this track. This car is actually really fucking good. If you can get your hands on the two-door model, like in this game. Oops. Oops. I think we're on the Grand Valley. Oh shit. Yeah, I think we're on the Grand Valley. Um, track spot. Yeah, it's definitely a good starting point of Grand Valley. Oh, what? How do I do? Oh, fuck! I got a gold on that. Nice. First gold of class A. Oh, the final test too. I don't know if this is a full app. I can't remember. I think this one's not. Eight. One minute, eight seconds. So we're on Grand Valley. Yeah. You know what's crazy about that last test is uh, I fucked up a whole bunch of times. I was not doing so hot. And it was right, I think they put the track piece right here. Here is this the RX-7 test, but with a bigger and faster car. Holy shit. I think we gotta go through both hairpins, uh, if I'm not mistaken.
I have to bust out my PlayStation and play this again because, oh man, I think I just lost. Yep, too much. That sucks. Um, because I really think that I'm dealing with like in a just slight input delay. I mean, I'm not trying to blame my fucking apparent shittiness on input delay, but I really believe. I mean, I played this game so fucking much that I, you know. And understand when I think something is up with the game and not necessarily me. So I think, like right here, when you make those really small adjustments, you just tap the D-pad real quick. And I'm even using micro switches, so I don't even have to, like I'm using an Xbox controller, so I don't have to worry about like the rubber buttons that the PS1 controller has, right? Which hold longer than, than a micro switch does. And I'm still holding it really long, apparently, even though I'm just clicking it. Dude, if my PS1 controller was micro switch, I would fucking have gone through so many controllers. Oh no! Come on, let's go. Oh, I failed. Fuck. Ugh. It's so frustrating. Five seconds. I would have gone through so many controllers if uh, I had micro switches for buttons. See, it just like feels like I'm holding it way too long. I turn off V Sync though. It's gotta be a factory battery. If I turn on V or turn off V Sync, my graphics card utilization spikes, which isn't a bad thing. I got a 1660 Super, so I'm not really worried about it. But um, with an unlocked frame rate, it just fucking works way too hard. Oh, please, please, come on, let's go, giddy up, come on. There we go. I think we got the bronze. Nice. There we go. Got the A license. Nice. What are we going to do with it? I have no fucking idea. But I can do a lot more races with it now. Oh, you know what I could do? I could do the Clubman. And uh, get that Camaro and then soup that Camaro up and then do the UK versus US race because everybody knows British cars are shit. So... Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to get into this bad boy. We're going to go... I got 21 grand. I can dump it into this car, too. So... Uh, did I do all of this? No, I did not. Did I do the balancing? I did not. I cannot bore it. I already got a turbo kit on it. So... I don't even put a fucking computer chip in this What? Did I do muffler? I did not. What did I do? Did I only just dump a turbo, some suspension, and tires on this? Yeah, I think that's all I did. And I weight reduced it as well, didn't I? Man. Okay, that's interesting. No clutch work. Okay, I put a flywheel on it. Shaft? No, I did not. Okay. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dump some money into the engine and uh, make it go fast. Oof, that's expensive. We're gonna hold off that one. And our cooler install. No, let's cheap out a little bit. Better parts on it later. Ooh. Can really make this bad boy fly. Let's do that. And I have just enough to get that computer tune. Nice. 
How much is the muffler? Four and a half thousand. You know what? I'm gonna jump through a couple of races. Uh, I'm just gonna grind out a little bit of money on Sunday Cup. And uh, no, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna save my game. Uh, and then we'll just take the car as is through the clubman and see how it goes. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.